What is up guys, Bellamy here. In today's video, we're going to be covering how to farm each of the different materials that you will need to research your crystallization catalysts in the first ascendant. Now, there are a number of materials you need to track down all from different locations. I'm going to be covering easy ways to farm these and the most efficient ways to acquire each of these different materials so you can get your catalyst going as fast as possible. Now, the first thing I'll cover is going to be the blueprints themselves. They can be acquired from many, many, many different areas. Um, those are going to be primarily any amorphous materials. Um, typically, they are even numbered amorphous materials. You can see here 122 has a 20% chance to drop a blueprint. 120 also does. I believe this is thematic for all of the hard mode amorphous materials that can drop, including the ones from dungeons and the one from uh, strategic outposts. I believe it's slightly different for normal mode. They're a bit more mixed up. You can see here, this one's an even one, but if I go down to like pattern nine, that also has a chance to drop one at 15%. Now, in terms of farming these, a lot of people will recommend just going to farm normal dungeons, flying through them, killing the boss, and then quickly opening the material at the respective normal mode boss farm. You can see here, if I go to Stunning Beauty, some of the materials from her, if you go ahead and farm the, farm the respective ones, have a 15% chance to drop a catalyst blueprint. That is one way to target farm these if you need to. However, my recommendation to any of you watching this is go ahead and ignore the Catalyst Blueprint completely. Figure out something else that you need to farm for what you want to do, say another Descendant, another weapon. You can see in this case, if I want to go ahead and farm, you know, this Clairvoyance and I need this material, uh, it comes from this pattern here and this pattern is an even one so it'll have a chance to also drop the crystallization catalyst blueprint while I'm at it. The reason why I have so many catalysts and so many extra blueprints, I have 13 still, is because I'm farming other materials for completely different things and I'm just dropping them per chance while I'm going along, while I'm progressing with my other things. That is what I would recommend to you, so go ahead and do that. now. Access info, we're going to go ahead into our catalyzation blueprints and the other materials we need to track down are our murky energy residues, our micro molecule biogels, mixed energy residues and our advanced neural circuits. So we're going to go from top down, we're going to start with the murky energy residue. Now you can farm this in easy, uh, normal or hard mode dungeons. My preference is hard because they do drop slightly more materials. If you find hard mode too difficult to do on your own or with your mates, whatever you're doing. I would suggest just doing it in normal, it's pretty quick. Now, you've got two dungeon options, it's the Forgotten, uh, Forgottens and the Unknown Laboratory. My personal preference is the Unknown Laboratory because it is faster. I'm not going to change anything with the dungeon, we're just going to go ahead and start the private operation. I'm going to progress through the dungeon very, very quickly until we arrive at our first elite that's going to spawn. He is going to drop us the material and then we're going to rinse and repeat leave the dungeon and restart it. Now, I highly recommend doing this on private because if you're doing it in a public one, you're obviously joining the instance, killing one mob, and then essentially leaving, which potentially hinders the experience of the other players you're with. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through really, really fast. There are no objectives between here and the elite that we need to kill. There is technically one, but it takes about two seconds. Uh, you'll find out yourself, but I'm gonna go ahead and skip this part until we get up to the elite. It should take no more than a, a minute. All right, so once you've cleared through that initial indoor section of the dungeon, you'll have done the tiny little objective that takes no more than 30 seconds. We're going to clear these mobs here just so everything starts spawning over the other side over there. Yep, should be good. Now, kill these mobs and then we should get a spawn of the elite that we're chasing. Here we go. These ones are spawning. The elite's up. You can see that by the special effects that are going after us there. And I'm going to kill this guy. He's going to drop our material. You see there, murky energy residue. Perfect. We got 10 this time around. You could get, I think, anywhere upwards of 16, maybe 18 or 20. Um, and you only need 8 per craft. So. That's nice and fast. So I'm done in here now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, if I want more, I'm going to go just return to Albion and continue farming the dungeon up until that point. Took me less than three or four minutes that time. Easy enough. But for the video, we're going to go ahead and jump into the next material that we need. And that next material that we're going to track down is our micromolecule biogel. Now this drops from two locations, both very conveniently in the Echo Swamp, and they are the Zone Recon missions. Now, if I go over to the Echo Swamp, 
I have two zones that I'm interested in. That's the Derelict Covert and the Musking, uh, Musk Egg Swamp. And it is this zone recon mission here up the very uh, northwest. And the zone recon here just above the fast travel in Derelict Covert. Now, I would recommend having this on private. Just so you don't have stray players messing with your zone recon missions. However, I do find that on public, the zone recon missions are off cooldown more often. However, you have to be very quick when you spawn in and get to the zone recon mission as fast as possible because people are typically clearing this very, very quickly. Now, in this instance, it is down and it is for another three minutes. What I'm going to do, because I don't want to wait three minutes, is I'm just going to zone over to the Muskeg Swamp and check if that one is up. If it's not, I can just ping pong back and forth between these two until I get one that is off cooldown or maybe has 30 seconds to a minute, maybe a minute and a half left, and I'll wait that time out and clear it. So, we've zoned over here, this one is up, which is perfect, I'm going to go ahead and run over to it, and we do not need Sharon for this, like other things you might be farming, you're just going to go ahead, blast everything as fast as you can for that efficiency, it's going to spawn a boss here in the middle, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and roast this guy, he's going to drop our material, we can see... There, we got the Micromolecule Biogel times 21 there. We also got an Amorphous Material, which is kind of cool. So, that's done and dusted. If you want to farm this in mass and get a whole bunch of them, you can just ping pong between Musk Egg Swamp and the Derelict Covert until you've got a nice little stack of them. If you port back and forth, often they're going to be off cooldown and ready to go, which is awesome. You can get unlucky sometimes and you'll have longer cooldowns and you might get scammed a little bit. I had one guy in a previous video commented saying that he did these runs like 20 times and didn't get a single drop which is super unfortunate now this one's up in a minute 55 which is not the longest wait in the world i'm pretty impatient so typically i would probably just kind of you know reset and go back to the other zone but if it was up i'd come down here kill the barrels this one also just spawns a nice little elite boss that's very easy to kill so that's super convenient they're very fast ones to clear only three barrels easy right Next material that we're going to track down today is going to be our mixed energy residues. Now, these can be acquired from encrypted storage boxes in the Agna Desert. The encrypted storage boxes are the little puzzle boxes that you have to open using the code breaker materials. So, I'll, if it's in hard mode, you're looking at code breakers and precision code breakers. If it's in normal mode, you're looking at analyzers. So, you can do it in both modes. It works just as fine. You will get more materials from hard mode though. So, what I'm going to do... I'm going to jump over to the Agna Desert. There are some more efficient areas to spawn uh, these boxes. I find that the storage and the Mirage Stone area are the best ones, mostly because there seems to be a lot of spawns in the storage and the Mirage Stone has multiple spawns right next to this fast travel point. So that's convenient. You can ping pong between those or you can do a rotation of all of the zones. Both options are fine. There are maps for where to find these encrypted storage boxes however you really don't need them tracking them down is very intuitive and you'll learn their spawns very quickly all you have to do is zone in and start looking around and spamming your tab key for pc i'm not sure what it is for console gamers but you're looking for your active display um, if you look around if at any point i'm trying to listen if at any point you hear a ping you just heard it then you know that there is a, a an encrypted storage box in that direction so I can hear one in this direction, so I'm going to run this way spamming, and I think there is one just down below me here, yep there is, perfect, so this is what we're looking for, um, this is a base one, so this is the lowest or the easiest difficulty one, so it's going to drop the lowest amount of materials, um, but it is very very easy, so little mini game, pretty straightforward, done. It's going to drop me some of these uh, mixed energy residues, I got seven, which is just shy of enough for craft, and it, if I'm spamming tab, it doesn't look like there are any left in the zone. So what I would typically do if I want to farm up a bit of a stockpile of these is I would bounce around to different zones, spamming my tab key to figure out which direction I need to be running to look, and I'd track down all of these encrypted boxes, open up a bunch until I maybe run out of keys, and then I've got a whole bunch of these materials saved up when I craft these crystallization catalysts. Now I'm going to look around. I can hear one in that direction, so we're going to head in that direction. There's a couple spawns over here, 
there's one down low and there's also one up high so it might be the one up high that's up so we're going to try and get up here real quick is it up yep so this one's an ultra precision one hopefully i don't fail it here that would be rather embarrassing if you're using enzo the active display allows you to track them down from further away i shouldn't be talking while doing this it's going to make me fail there there we go that's a bit embarrassing nine times out of ten these are much easier and you can complete them no dramas as i was saying before i failed and ruined my train of thought if you're using enzo the active display pings work from much further away it might even be infinite range i'm not 100 percent certain it's his kind of hidden ability and it also makes this little mini game here a little bit easier for you i'll give it one more crack for the video if like me you struggle with these guys definitely consider picking up enzo it makes the little mini game much much easier There we go. Ah, right, we got one. Couldn't embarrass myself too much. There we go. We got our mixed energy residue, and that is our third and second to last material that we're going to be chasing down today. The next one is going to be our advanced neural circuits. Now, this is the one that is probably the most annoying to farm, at least in my opinion, because there's no kind of way to farm a whole bunch of them in one hit. There are basically any elite in White Knight Gulch as far as I'm aware, is going to give you a chance to drop them. I have a personal favorite area to farm them. That's going to be down in the observatory. I'm going to head over to this fast travel point here. Now, what I like to do is I start a mission and there is a an elite that spawns pretty early into the mission. I'll kill the elite, drop the material, and then I'll reset the mission. Again, similar to the dungeon, if you're doing this on private, that is definitely the preference as if you're doing it in public, you're just going to be abandoning the mission and potentially messing with the play experience of other players. So I'm going to go over here. We're going to start this mission here. The title of it is Orders Veil. Vale. We're going to start this mission. It's going to start one of these kind of uh, Kuiper mining type missions. And I'm just going to sprint around as Bunny. You know, you can kill the mobs with the guns if you're playing anyone else until the first elite spawns and then you can reset the mission if you want to do max efficient if you aren't too stressed and just want to kick back and relax and do the missions you can finish the mission completely there are three total elites that spawn each that drop the material but if you want to do it most efficient you can definitely just reset the mission and go again be over here this is the elite first elite we're chasing we'll kill him he'll drop our material there we go we got four which is all right. That's a pretty good roll. You can get maybe between two and five. I don't think I've ever seen more than four. And here's the third and final elite that will spawn in this mission. This bad boy right here. We'll kill him, drop our material, and then we're chilling. There you go. Mission's done. I should hopefully have enough to craft my next catalyst now. Yep, perfect. We're overcapped just by a little bit. Fantastic. So we can jump over to Albion now. Head over to, uh, yeah, I'll say it, Anus, and we're going to research our crystallization catalyst ready for our next prestige. But I'm going to go ahead and jump over here, rec research our next uh, crystallization catalyst, and then get back into the grind. Not sure what I'm thinking about farming next. I'm considering maybe trying to get ultimate bunny. I have a normal bunny that's completely maxed out, but there are a couple of uh, modules that I can't get on regular bunny that I would like to muck around with, like to try. But here, we'll research our catalyst. It's going to take eight hours before that one's ready, so you can realistically get two of these out a day um, if you're playing, you know, over a long session or maybe multiple sessions in the morning and in the afternoon, something to that effect. But that's it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed, found it useful in any way, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.